Hey guys, this is That's Doable in VR. Before I start this new playthrough, I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys how to crank the most out of your uh, game of Skyrim VR and maybe other programs in general. Because if you're like me, you're trying to get the most uh, realism and immersive experience out of Skyrim VR. So I've done some research and I've figured out two amazing ways, two simple and amazing ways to get your FPS higher and your game more stable in Skyrim VR. So I thought I would show you guys that today. Let's get right to it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be looking at today is VR Performance Kit. This is something that a lot of people already know about. I think it works in most VR games that I think think aren't well it says unreal engine on this website i thought there's a certain engine that i don't think this works in and i don't think it's compatible with uh open composite so uh this is something that uh, allows you to uh, have image upscaling sharpening and uh amd super resolution in your game uh all you do is you go to this website, you download it, and you put it into your Skyrim uh, data folder. Not data folder, but the folder with your executable in it. So here's the Skyrim VR executable, and uh, there's here's where you're, you'll drag and drop your files into. So let's look at my settings for it. I'll show you what I use because I've used all three of these. Um, so the main main one I'm using right now is contrast adaptive sharpening. Uh, that is because when I was messing with the sharpness settings down here with these other ones, it kind of, I think some of them give a little bit better performance boost, but the quality, look, I mean, it looks blurry and weird. Uh, what I have found is contrast adaptive sharpening paired with an increased sharpness level. So mine's right Mine right now is at two. I could probably go higher. I haven't really exper uh, experimented with that much, but these other ones, when I tried to, because the default I think for this for sharpness is one, and when I bumped up the sharpness on uh, at least FSR, because I think that's what I used before, it created like a white edge on everything, so it looked bad. Uh, what this program also does is allows you to lower the resolution of certain areas in your screen. So whatever you're focused on, that'll the resolution for that will be at its highest. And then as it goes out, it diminishes until it's blocks almost on the edges of the screen. And you can actually see this in the footage that I record with Skyrim VR, where you'll see like a circle and then towards the edges, it's almost like Minecraft or something levels. It's like really low resolution, but you can't, you can't tell that in the headset and it saves you frames. So you actually can get a pretty monumental performance boost using this program. Uh, you can download this and experiment how you wish. I mainly use the default settings. Like I said, I went with the contrast adaptive sharpening because it allowed me to increase the sharpness. Um, maybe I'll experiment one day and go through and see what the best performance to quality uh, settings I can get. But for the most part, download this, it'll save you a lot of frames. Now, one other thing that I found out, and this blew my mind when I found out about it. Let me go ahead and close all my other stuff that I have rendering, or running right now to get the best performance. Uh, I won't be able to record with this, but let me show you guys something that blew my mind. So you're gonna go to, your my game section. So if you don't know how to get to that, it's your username, arch users, your username, documents, my games, Skyrim VR. This is where your I and I settings are for Skyrim. Uh, go to Skyrim Prefs. Scroll down. It'll be under display, and where it says B full screen, it should by default in Skyrim VR be set to zero. You're going to want to change that to one, and what that does. I just found this out. Some random person posted it on Reddit. I haven't seen anybody else talk about this. I haven't even, I've seen no video. I've seen nothing about this. So I think this is relatively, no one knows about this uh, is how I should put it. So apparently setting full, full, setting Skyrim VR to full screen 
makes it the number one priority on your system. I think, and I think that's how they described it. Regardless of whatever's going on, it gives you a pretty significant performance boost. Like this blew my mind. Uh, to put things into perspective, I was running in Falkreath with true storms, it pouring rain, biggest trees on high settings. I was running maybe le I was run it was less than sixty frames on high settings in uh, Falkreath, and then my I think that's the most uh, performance heavy area in the game because it's nothing but forest and it's surrounded by a bunch of stuff. And I was getting less than 60 frames per second while not. And that was well with not recording yesterday. I tested this and I was in fall I switched it to ultra because high was actually, I was well beyond my, uh, frame limit and it's set to 80 right now. Yesterday, I set it to, I turned on full screen, and when I got in the game, it was running at a smooth 80 on uh, ultra settings, which is, that that's just freaking crazy. Now, the only thing, I mean, this is just applying, or well, it applies to everybody, I guess. So, I've had, when you first turn this on and boot this up, I got a black screen and it just stayed a black screen and you can't open up anything at all on your system. Even if you took the headset off and press control off delete and started your task manager, you still cannot open anything at all on your system. Uh, you can't close your, you can't close the program. The only way to close Skyrim VR after you've done, after you've turned on that setting and opened it up is to open up your Steam menu, go to uh, the three, I think it's like three lines or whatever, but whatever it allows, whatever allows you to close Skyrim VR through Steam VR. That's the only way I can get this to close. I can't even open up Task Manager if I set it to full screen. And what happens is when you first start it, I, at least for me, this is what happens. When you first start it after changing that setting, a black screen will pop up. It won't load. So go ahead and go down and close it. Uh, click exit out of Skyrim VR. And then open it up again and it should work. Now, if you are a video, uh, if you are a content creator for VR and you record through OBS like I do or record your footage, what it does, I noticed on my footage yesterday because I was doing some test footage of this, it actually ended up closing. It opened up full screen and looked fine at the time. And then it actually shrunk that down onto on the desktop and none of the gameplay footage was recorded. So I have a feeling that that's what it's going to do every single time I open up Skyrim VR. But after you... if if you're not recording footage and you're not doing anything on the computer, it works just fine. It works flawlessly. But the only way to exit out of it is you got to exit through the Skyrim VR menu instead of, you know, closing it out on your desktop or taking your headset off, you know, using your mouse and keyboard and all that. You have to close it out through uh, Steam VR. Otherwise, nothing shows up, at least on my end. But that's how you do it. B full screen equals one. And if it's not there, add it. It is a massive, massive improvement to your FPS. And if I can find any other way to increase FPS, I'll be sure to let you guys know because that's that's the main thing to, that I'm focusing on right now. I'm trying to get a 4090, so I'm going to see what all I can do with the 3060 Ti with what I have now to boost performance because if I get a 4090, it probably won't matter that much. But yeah, this is that's doable. Try this out. Tell me what you guys think because this blew my mind when I first did this. Uh, I think it was about the combined two was about a 20 frame, 20 FPS increase. That was allowing me to go to ultra. So if you play like on medium or high, it, you'll probably even get an even bigger boost if you don't up your settings. But that was me playing on ultra settings, 80 uh, hertz refresh rate. I might need to experiment with that too, but... Guys, try this out because you have no idea what you're missing. So this is That's Doable in VR. I will see you guys later. Have a great day.